Breaking news, Nigerians. Finally, AGF Abubakar Malami bowed to pressure as President Muhammad Buhari instructs DSS to allow Namdi Kano have access to his personal doctor. Well, what else do we want to know again? That Mazin Namdi Kano will soon be home. He said it yesterday. That is what he, he, he told his followers. He said, be calm, be focused. I will soon be home. I will soon be with you. And that is it. They just have to allow him go. Even with what the president is doing right now, uh, nobody should tell you that they are tired. You understand? The other day, Ifani Ejefor, one of Mazinam Dikano's lead council, said, he said the federal government is stuck. They are confused, though. They don't even know what they are doing. They have abandoned their stay of execution appeal in the Supreme Court. What is going on? For you to understand that, they know that they don't have any case against this man. But they, they are just playing this game just to make him suffer in DSS custody. There is no way they will take this court to, uh, this case to that they will not tell them, please go back to a pickle judgment. And that is what stands. A big court judgment stands. A big court judgment said, Mazin Namdikano is discharged and acquitted. And that is what stands. And that is why the Nigerian government should, you know, allow him go home. Because he's a free man. You understand? So with what the, the federal government of Nigeria have done now, this uh, recent development have shown that they are now, you know, tired. They will allow uh, uh, Namdekanu to go home soon. Like, as I said, that yesterday Namdekanu said his, his followers should be expecting, expecting him home very soon. Record that um, Aloy Ejima called the special council to the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP leader Namdekanu, also requested the, the head of the European Union a delegation to Nigeria and the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, Ambassador Salula, to urgently request federal, uh, the, the federal government of Nigeria to promptly implement the recommendation of United Nations, the UN Working Group on Obituary Detention as well as the penitent judgment of the Federal High Court, Umaria Abia State, regarding Kano, who he said is currently being detained in solitary confinement since June 2021 by the Federal Government of Nigeria. Ejimako told The Guardian that he filled his appeal through a letter dated November 15, 2022, addressed the ambassador Ambassador's Abuja office titled Urgent Special for Diplomatic and Humanitarian Intervention of Your Mission in Urging Government of Nigeria to Implement the Opinion of the United Nations Working Group on Obituary Detention and Judgment of the Federal High Court of Nigeria regarding Kano and in the interim to accord Kano his human rights to seek independent medical care for his ailments. Ejimako, who made a copy of his letter available to journalists, told the ambassador that an advanced copy of the opinion, which was issued on July 20, 2022, and released to him on, on July 23, 2022, stated that the cover letter bearing the opinion uh, indicated that the working group forwarded the op opinion to federal government on July 2022, 20, uh, to 20, on July 22, 2022. I beg your pardon. Ejimako also told the ambassador in his letter that why the penitent judgment of the federal high court was delivered on October 26, 2022, by the Omar Hair Division of the Court stated that they attached the opinion and the judgment for the ambassador's review and marked them Anejwa 1 and Anejwa 2, respectively, giving the ambassador some break background information on the matter. Ijimako informed them that Kano is a Nigerian British political activist who, in 2012, 
founded and leads IPOP, which advocates self-determination for the people of Biafra, the Eastern Nigeria, with the singular aim of achieving a sovereign state of Biafra from Nigeria through referendum. He stated that IPOP is registered as a legal entity in the United Kingdom and which maintains its headquarters in Germany and has numerous offices and chapters around the world. He informed the ambassador that IPOP operates in the open as a non Non, as a non-violent group, including in Nigeria, before the federal government unfairly proscribed it in 2017. You know, so my people, maybe uh, because of this now, the, the Nigerian government, you know, want to succor, to say, okay, let him go. And uh, before he goes, they, they just have to allow him have his... Uh, uh, treatment, medical treatment. You know, they said he, the, the the lawyer said Mazenam the Kano's health is deteriorating in the DSS custody, and the DSS is paying less attention to him. Even when the court have said let this man have his his uh, 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 medications, he should have access to to his doctor and all that. DSS, you know, I know them now. They are good in disobeying court orders and all that. You understand? So with these new developments now, Nigerians can now understand that the, the, the Nigerian government is tired because they know they have no case against this man. So they now want to do the needful, which is, first of all, this is, is, is a good is a step taken. Allow him to have access to his personal doctor, let him get treated. You understand? We know that soon, very soon. Mazinam the canal is going to be released. Okay, I'm dropping it here, guys. Thank you.